guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. Today I'm going to do a review for you, a book that I just finished uh, on the 2nd. Um, and this book is Nothing Lasts Forever by Sydney Sheldon. First thing I have to say is I am so surprised that I just, ne this is the first time I read a Sydney Sheldon book. Because he is an amazing writer. I had so much pleasure reading this book. First, let me tell you what this book is about. Uh, we have three different doctors that are in the same hospital in San Francisco. Um, you've got Dr. Paige Taylor. Sh she had a patient and she's on trial for um, murdering this patient. And she testifies that it was, euth was euthanasia on request from the patient. And then it's discovered that she inherits a million dollars from this, this patient. And then we've got... Um, Dr. Cat Hunter, who gets herself involved in a pretty serious and deadly bet. And then you've got Dr. Honey Taft, who um, feels like she was forced into being a doctor. She just really wanted to be a nurse, so now she just does everything but her job. Those three doctors and their decisions and things going on with them are affecting this hospital greatly and other doctors that are in the same hospital. The whole premise of the book I thought was going to be confusing because we're talking about three different doctors and I thought at first it was going to be told in three different books but it's all they all know each other they're actually were interns together and they actually all have an apartment together um, and it's very clear whose perspective is going on and uh, which story we're learning about. I think my favorite story was Dr. Paige Taylor's. Um, I think hers had the most excitement and it was just really fun to read and um, read about the trial and this and that. My favorite character, I think, was Dr. Cat Hunter. She is a, um, one, first of all, a female doctor and she's black. So in this hospital, there is this head nurse who everybody knows is the head nurse and she is the one that plans out schedules and she's the one that puts these nurses with the doctors and she would always make it really, really, really hard on Kat. And Kat would go out of her way to make sure she did things the best way she could do things. She was very strong. And she didn't put up with this kind of stuff that was going on. And if she felt like this this nurse was pulling stunts, she would get to the bottom of it. And I really liked um, that part of her character, how she stood up for herself and how she made sure people knew, hey, don't mess with me because I'm not going to just lie down and let you do it. And then you got... Dr. Honey Taft, who at first I just really didn't like her at all. I thought she was just a user and um, she just, she did things that she shouldn't to get along in the business of medicine. And then when you get the backstory, you're like, whoa, well, now I understand why she is the way she is. And you end up she ends up starting to grow on the reader a little bit. So those are, that's a breakdown of the three um, main characters in the story. And it just seemed like every turn of the page, something new was exposed or something new was happening. And you're like, whoa, what? And I just really love that edge of the seat thing all the time. Um, there is a lot of elements to this book. There is love and friendship and hate and rage. There's jealousy and envy. You know, there's just all kinds of different elements in this book. And I think anybody could actually really enjoy it. I was trying to think about who I would recommend this book to. And, you know, at first I thought, well, you know, people that like medical thrillers would probably really like this. Although it's not really, like, thriller per se. Um, there is some mystery in it and there is some sh surprising things in it. But it's not really, like, you know, all the time. So I was trying to figure out, you know, who would actually I could recommend this book to. And I could recommend it to probably just about anybody. And I, like I said before, I'm surprised I have not read a Sidney Sheldon book before. And now, 
I love his writing, so now I'm going to go out and look for Sidney Sheldon's stuff because it was amazing. I gave this a five star on Goodreads, and I would read it again. You know, it was really, really good. So if you like, you know, stories like this, yeah, go pick it up. It's it's really good. And if anybody knows any other Sidney Sheldon books that are really good, let me know in the comments below. And we can talk about that. So that is my review on Nothing Lasts Forever. Like I said before, this was actually for a letter N in my A through Z challenge. And I'm so glad I picked it up. So glad I read it. It was, it was so engaging it was a really really enjoyable book so if you've read this book let me know also in the comments below and we'll talk about it thanks guys for staying tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye